Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to learn how to sync local folder to FTP server folder without uploading existing files by SSIS package. So we have a local folder and if you take a look here, uh, there are three files uh, sitting here and uh, then I have FTP server and let me refresh this one. And I have a folder called sales and what I want to do, I want to upload these files, but during the day or the night, there would be multiple files come into this folder and we do not remove the existing files. So what I want to do, I don't want to upload the files which will or which have been already uploaded by SSIS package. So think about SSIS package is running on hourly schedule. It find the new files in the local folder and then upload them to the FTP. Any file that is already loaded to the FTP server, it is not going to load that one. So that's a very common scenario. We, we have tons of uh, uh, requirement uh, related to this topic. So let's uh, go to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, or Bids and create a new SSIS package. So hit uh, new SSIS package and here we can name this package PKG and then I can call it sync local to FTP folder. Now first of all we need to read these files from the um local folder there are multiple ways we can do that we can uh, directly read uh, these files in the script uh, task uh, and uh, loop through them but uh, i will use uh, the for each loop uh, to handle that part as uh, we all of us uh, as a bi developers are not great great uh, dot net developers and when it comes to writing whole lot vb or dot c sharp code it get complicated and there are things which are given to us in ssis so whatever we can make use of it i will go ahead and make use of that one so i have a for each loop container here and i need to read the files from the folder now what i'm going to do i'm going to create some variable here i'm going to call this one local folder I use variables or parameters why because I can change the values of these variables or parameters by using the SSIS configuration so on each end of the environment I don't have to open the package and change it so I will just pass the values from the configuration to these variables or the parameters and here I'm gonna pass the value to local variable sorry local folder variable and then uh, i'm going to create uh, another variable called remote folder why because that's where we are going to upload the files uh, and this is going to be on uh, our ftp and it is called sales uh, as i have shown you guys uh, on the ftp if you look at here this is our sales folder that's where we want to upload uh, our files next uh, let's uh, minimize this part open for each loop container and go to collections here i don't want to use the folder path c colon or even i do not want to provide the value i'm going to make use of my variable so i will go to the directory and then go to expressions and use my variable so if you see here we have variables and parameters and if you have created a parameter you can use the parameter and uh, i'm using variable because there are so many people still using ssis 2008 and 2005 and uh, they don't have a uh, privilege to have parameters so i'm gonna keep using a variable sometime parameters uh, in combination so i will use uh, the local folder variable that has folder path where our files are hit okay now hit okay next uh, we will be coming to variable mapping and here we have to create a new variable that will be holding uh, our file name and uh, extension so we will say file name hit ok and one thing uh, index is zero that's the only variable so that's the first variable index start with zero if we have more variables so we will have index one and two and three but we have only one so the index is going to be starting with zero and here in collections uh, we want to read the file name and extension we are not reading a fully qualified path we can but um, I'm, let, let's read file name and extension and uh, then uh, um, we can make use of that hit okay next uh, 
we want to use the script task the FTP task is given and I have written some points here FTP task is given but it does not provide all the capabilities uh, what we need to do here so we will be using the script task to handle this situation um, as we are going to make a comparison uh, take a look like okay the file does exist already or not that cannot be really done by using FTP task in SSIS so I have to make use of uh, uh, script task and we are learning all these points uh, uh, already what I I have written on the main slide so now I'm gonna bring uh, the script task here then map the variables first of all I will select the language here I have an option to select C sharp or VB and uh, this code I'm gonna write in the VB so I'm gonna select the visual basic here I'm gonna make use of those variables that I have created so I'm gonna select file name local folder and remote folder so I will use these variables inside the uh, our script task and then one more thing uh, I would do as uh, we will be using uh, the FTP uh, server we will have to create uh, the FTP connection so we can use a uh, uh, connection manager here we come here in the connection managers and right click go to the new connection and here we will select FTP and hit uh, add here we have to provide uh, the FTP server name or the IP address in my case I'm using the IP address so I'm gonna use IP and if you are using uh, the server name you will be using uh, copying the server name so in, if you see I only copied the IP I ignored the FTP colon backslash backslash and uh, that's exactly what you need to do if you will put those colons and backslashes here it's gonna throw us an uh, error it only accepts uh, the address or you will say uh, FTP dot uh, your uh, FTP server name dot com you will not provide those FTP colon backslashes and then provide the password one more thing I would like to tell you we have the videos how to set up uh, the FTP server uh, by using Windows 7 and Windows 2012 you can watch those videos and set up your own FTP and that will help to run all these uh, scenarios what I'm building here and uh, let me rename uh, this connection manager to FTP connection so I remove the spaces because it's easy for me to remember it and then I can use in the script task we already mapped the variables so we are all good now instead of uh, writing all those codes uh, and spending 30 40 minutes uh, I have code already prepared for this demo and I'm gonna show you how exactly it work uh, one, one thing we did mistake here uh, see this uh, at the end we have terminators uh, so it tells us uh, the language uh, is used uh, and we have CS that means uh, C sharp uh, I have no idea why it selected C sharp we, we were selecting uh, the VB here so uh, I can't really change the language from here so uh, what I have to do I'm gonna go back and delete this script task sorry this is another 30 seconds but no big deal we'll redo it double click and here you will select uh, the visual basic now we will map the variables I always try to make the video short and I have no idea it always get long and I try my best but there are always things and uh, I always apologize so uh, take my words the next time I'm gonna do my best to go fast so I have the variables and uh, they are in the read only variables because we are only reading and we are not gonna uh, provide any output uh, uh, we, we don't need to write uh, values to those variable and use another task in SSIS so we will be only using these as a read only hit script task let me open the script what I have prepared so I'm gonna copy this one copy and go to the sorry script task reader and here in the main now you can see that it's a VB in the blue as well and dot VB so that tells us this uh, script we are writing is in VB now paste our script here and uh, I'm gonna walk you through first of all I am declaring some local variables that will be used in a script task so I have a string folder array that's array type so it can hold multiple records 
and then I have dim file array that can hold multiple file names and then I have a remote directory that's uh, to set uh, uh, the remote directory and we will be passing the value or setting the value by using the remote folder variable from the SSIS package and then I have local folder variable and value is set uh, by using local folder variable from SSIS and then I have local file names uh, and I'm using this one as a array because I'm uh, I was thinking like I could have used just file name but it is not letting me use uh, as a single file name in the function that sends the file from the local to the FTP so I have to declare as array and next uh, I'm using for each uh, file name so this is uh, the file name we will be getting uh, from the file name variable that we have set in the for each loop now we are all set uh, with these variables let's uh, go to the connection of FTP so we are opening or requiring a connection that we have created in the SSIS package for FTP task so we make this connection acquire it and then we connect to the FTP server by using this connection next we are providing that remote directory remember that backslash sales and we have set the value of this remote directory variable by using the remote folder variable from SSIS package so we will be using this one here and then we will be selecting all the folders and files why because we want to make a comparison with the with the file name we will we will read by using the for each loop and that's how we will be knowing uh, okay this file exists or this file does not exist so this array is going to hold all the file names from the uh, directory uh, on the FTP server and then we are checking if this string file array is nothing this does not have any files then what you do local files that's our uh, variable we have declared as array is equal to then we are saying local folder that's our c backslash whatever local input folder that, that's where our files are and this one if you see this one is that's the path of that and plus for each file so we are concatenating the local folder plus the file name and that's how it is going to work and then we say ftp dot send file and we have to provide that array that holds the folder path with file name from local and then remote directory so that's what we have to provide and here i don't want to overwrite the file this is done by purpose because if i will say true i would not really be able to test maybe the file does exist it will keep overwriting so i have set this one to false and this one is a ascii transmission and all that part so if this is true is fine so uh, and then we are closing the uh, ftp connection next uh, so this one uh, if there is no file in the folder it will just upload that file next uh, what will happen uh, here we are checking if uh, this array string file array contains uh, that file name that we, we we have extracted by using for each loop container so if uh, that does exist uh, so we want to just uh, close it we say okay this uh, there is already file existing on the remote folder we don't need to do anything so just exit it i have message box just to show you but it will be just closing the connection and that that's it next uh, we are saying else if that's not true it means that the file does not exist this condition is not true we are going to go to else and then move sorry then upload that file from the local folder to the remote so we will be using the same statement what we have used up here this is the same statement and uh, we we will uh, upload the file and then we say upload successfully and message box and then we are ending if this is first one and then we have end if that's uh, this one and then we are just uh, um, leaving the rest of the script as it is so build the script that this script is going to be available in the blog post and i will have the dis link in the description as well so you can take a look right now if i go on the ftp let me see you let's refresh in the sales folder we do not have any file so let's run our ssis package i'm hoping that this will run and it will follow all those uh, 
core scenarios that we were trying to cover it is loading one so uploaded successfully that's first file then second file remember it it loaded actually three files but two messages came because we did not print the message in the first part of the code if the if the directory is empty we just loaded the file so that's that has loaded the first file and then two files are also loaded so here the very first file was loaded because the directory was empty and we didn't print message so that's why we only get two messages here then next time when it came for the next file it could not find that file on the ftp so it, it said okay let me load it and then uh, show you the message so let's go back refresh our ftp directory so we have all those files sitting here now i'm gonna do one more test and if you go here we see it is the 131 and now we should be just getting the message file already exists file already exist file already exist so it did not do anything but i will not stop here i will go one step ahead put a new file here and i'm gonna say new and i will say file and this will say this is test file why i want to do that because i want to check all those scenarios okay now i have mixed file one is new three are old does that work and uh, time has also changed so we will see like what time it is when the file will be loaded so file already exists to that's one two three and then uh, and uploaded successfully so the fourth one is uploaded successfully it's all good now go back here in the ftp server refresh so take a time 131 pm that's what the time is if we read on it so you can see that these files are not touched or they are not even updated or overwritten but this is the file that was that is loaded so that's how you will sync your local folder to the ftp folder and make sure you do not load already existing files on the ftp server thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video